Hello. Hi. So my question is, I've been given so much advice in terms of um, where to play, especially in the beauty space. Um, I found that Instagram really works well for me because it is visual. And so I haven't really put a lot of time um, in Twitter, so I was just interested in getting your perspective and your words of advice in terms of, should I really be playing on all three, or should I be prioritizing where I see the greatest you know, um, engagement? That's a great question. I think what you should do is uh, give it a test. Uh, say, give it one month where you're gonna say, okay, I'm gonna figure out if this is really gonna work for me or not. Create a goal, like I want you know, uh, five new clients or like 100 products sold and get massive planners set up. For you, since you're already on Instagram, that's great. You can repurpose a lot of content on Instagram into uh, Twitter. And again, just give it 30 days and see like, okay, is it gonna hit these goals? If yes, then double down and start investing a lot of time in it. But to be honest, like if Instagram is working, then I would kind of double down and triple down on those things. I, I think it's, I think it's worth a shot. I think you'll you'll see some uh, sales come through it. But again, give it 30 days. If it doesn't work, just forget about it. Double down on Instagram. Yeah. What type of uh platform are you using to, like, are you scheduling your content? Like, what content are you putting on Twitter? And are you automating that? Yes, um, so I, well, here's another little interesting thing I did. Once I got my followers up, I shouted out saying, like, hey, I need help with a social media account manager, and I flooded with requests. Um, so I got this guy, Hunter, um, to hop on board, and I figured out that quotes work really, really, really well. Not images, um, just, like, plain, just text quotes uh, related to marketing, because I'm targeting followers of Gary Vee, if y'all are familiar. So um, putting those quotes out uh, was really, really effective. So I, I schedule like, gosh, 50 to 100 quotes at a time. That gets people used to clicking and engaging. Um, and then I do a lot of Periscope as well. It, it grows uh, your Periscope base. You get a lot of leads from that. And then anything you want to promote for your business, whatever, schedule that, you know, every like, five to 10 posts. You can post up to six times a day on Twitter without seeing spammy, which is the cool thing. Um, unlike Instagram and other platforms. So I would go heavy on quotes, particularly if you're in the like B2B entrepreneurial founder space. That's a great way to go. Hi there, thanks for the information. Um, I have a question that actually pertains both to you, John, and I think as well. Um, do you have a strategy in place that actually helps you leverage your, each of your channels to grow your other channels? So let's say that you're doing really well on Instagram, like Michelle. You're doing well on Instagram. How would you leverage Instagram to help you grow on Facebook or on Twitter and vice versa? That's a great question to Cliff if you want to come up and answer after me. Um, so yes, uh, absolutely. Uh, one thing I'm doing right now is I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel, which is a lot harder, a lot harder to grow back. Um, so the things I'm doing there is when I launch a new video, I put a video every Friday, I put it in the bio, and what I do is in my auto DMs, um, I say like a, I try and say like a non-spamming message like, hey, first name, thanks so much for following me, like I saw you follow Gary Vee, so I thought I'd give you a follow as well, uh, give me a shout if you can ever help me, and then I just put the link in there. So people are replying like, oh, like thanks for the message. Like, yeah, I'd love to give you up some time. By the way, just watch the video you included. That's that's great. Um, so that's one way in which um, I do that. But in general, um, just it's it, think of it as like any other post or uh, any other promotional post. Schedule them out. Um, you know, on Snapchat you can promote to Instagram, etc. Um, just figure out a message that works well with your audience. Craft it so that way it'll bring people over and just schedule a couple posts in between. Valuable content. Well, and, and I kind of do something similar uh, for Instagram, where I for I do the same thing on Instagram that I do on Twitter in terms of growth hacking. Uh, so what I do is every follower that follows me, I send them an auto DM to tell them to come follow me on Instagram. So that helps leverage the Twitter following. Uh, and I just found a software uh, for Instagram that allows you to send auto DMs. It's called Holler H O L R. It's like twenty bucks a month, where you can send an auto DM to all followers as well. So uh, I use that to, to leverage you know, anything, really. I mean, you can put anything wherever, wherever you want to direct it, whether it's your website, whether it's another channel. Um, but I was doing that specifically on um, Twitter to, to Instagram. Anyone else? I 
Twitter account? How much time are you spending every day managing your Twitter account? How much time am I spending every day managing your Twitter account? I'm on it every day, so I'm kind of in the camp of like Sequoia said earlier, like you mentioned, like, oh, okay, got automation, good to go, like kick back, pop a beer. Um, no, I think you need to do both really hard. So. Um, spend time uh, engaging with people, find the personal, finding people that are of similar to you, shoot them a message, give value, be like, hey, I, I mean, it's pretty simple, right? You can you can see their, their link in the bio, if it's their company, wherever you can be like, hey, just saw your company, like, it's super cool where you're doing. Um, I do this, like, uh, growth hacking thing, would love to help out if I can, uh, or like any, any other way you, you can see me helping you. Um, that's, that's huge, like, build those relationships. Um, and in terms of monitoring the growth hacking, um, if you want like a number amount, I would say maybe uh, two, two, to, two to five hours a week, depending on how much I'm, I'm outsourcing and maybe focusing on uh, other big things. But um, I, I really think investing real human time is the way that you're gonna build that depth. And the depth is what people like, that's gonna create super fans, not just like, Oh, this person with a lot of followers follow me. Like that's kind of cool. I like their post every once in a while. Okay. Cool. Thanks so much, everyone. Thank you, John.